school spirit. Got to have it. After all the preparations, it was time to head out, face the big rival. Battle West for the 5A state, state title. Perfect, wasn't it? <laughs> it was so nice out there today. I think I got a sunburn from the ball game. Hey, there was lots of interest in the 5A title game. It was an all-Jefferson County League affair, a rematch between top-ranked Bear Creek and Arvada West. And after finishing second a year ago, it was A West and Coach Dave Logan's second straight trip to the championship. You just play like you can play, and that's plenty good enough. Bear Creek came in undefeated, ranked number one in the state, and it was the Bears that set the early pace. Ricky Ronnie to his top receiver, Osh Swanson, who's got all the moves for a 7-0 Bears lead. And while our battle West tied it up at the end of the quarter, it was the Bears who went into the locker room with the lead. Fullback Mike Warden looking for people to run over on his way in from the 14 to put him up 14-7. Let's, let's get it, baby. Hey, you know what? Block with confidence. We'll pick it up. Then in the third quarter, we saw a different Wildcats offense. Coach just basically said, what do you want? Do you want the state championship or you want to go home losers? And I think that really hit everybody really hard. And we came out and, you know, we just played. We just we didn't, we didn't have to do anything spectacular. We just played good enough to win. It started with the TD pass from Steve Cutlip to Janu Phillips in the end zone. Yeah! Yeah, baby! And it continued with Eric Nelson, who's getting through and cutting back from the 15 for a 21-14 lead. Let it run, baby. Let it run. That put A. West up for the first time in the ball game and sent him into the fourth quarter, leading by a touchdown. Now, could the defense hold? The answer is yes and yes, thanks to sophomore cornerback Mike Duran. The Wildcats bring the pressure, and Duran pulls in the interception. Number one, baby. Yeah! After a championship loss to Cherry Creek last season, Arvada West is celebrating this time around. I mean, last year I was happy to be there. Hurt really bad to lose, but if we'd have lost this one, I don't know. It would have killed me inside. You got to love the enthusiasm. Just one touchdown, that winning margin, 21-14 A West over Bear Creek. Now, that 5A game was predicted to be Champions high. were crowned in the 5A, 4A, and 3A classes. We begin with a classic showdown among the big schools, Bear Creek and Arvada West, the top two clubs in Class 5A, as anticipated, this one would be something to see. It makes up this week's Prep Rally Big Game of the Week. He's looking down the middle, and he is hit hard. In front of more than 7,500 at Jeffco Stadium, the Arvada West Wildcats look to set down top-ranked Bear Creek. But it was the Bears who jumped first to put points on the board. Big fourth down and 13. Dropping straight back is Ronnie. Here comes the pressure. Rolls out to the right side. Goes over the middle. 29 yards to Osh Swanson in the air gave the Bears a 7-0 lead. But things would change quickly. Keeping the ball's Cutlip. Pushing hard is the big senior. The Cats answer with an eight-play drive on Steve Cutlip's one-yard touchdown push. And they were tied at seven. We went to more of a running. It's going to eat the clock. And when that happens, you know, we're not going to score as quick. We're not going to give them a chance to be on the field as much. The top-ranked Bears would take the lead again about five minutes into the second quarter. Turn around. Give this to the big fullback, Mike Warden. Creek fullback Mike Warden rumbled 14 yards for a score, and the Bears led 14-7 at the intermission. <laughs> A-West wide receiver Junu Phillips would have a major impact on the Cats' first possession, second half. Cutlip looks for protection, gets it, puts the ball out there, cut, touchdown! Well, we just want to try to stay focused during halftime. You know, we knew we were getting the ball when we first came out, and we're just going to go down, drive it, keep our composure, and just keep it going throughout the game. The 16-yard touchdown reception got Arvada West even at 14, and along with the play of the A-West defense, turned the momentum for good. At 7.50 of the third, A-West marched seven plays for 54 yards in the deciding score when Eric Nelson would reach for 18 yards in his 140-yard day and this score. Yes, interception at the 50. Well, you know, we just uh, made stupid mistakes. We jump offside when we're going to make a first down, you know, and uh, we have the big play, takes the ball down to the 35-yard line and get a, a stupid penalty. You know, just little things like, or, you know, little things turned out to be big things, and that's what happened. The Wildcats win the 5A state championship for the first time in 25 years, 21-14 the final score. Ecstatic. Awesome. I mean, what a way to go out. What a way to go out in my high school career. Feels great. I, like I never, I don't know, I didn't 
speechless, man. I never felt this way before. Dave Logan with a lump on the head from the top of that. Congratulations to the Wildcats. Eric Nelson named 5A MVP. Ricky Ronnie, 18 of 35 for 210 yards and two interceptions. The Wildcats defense, Eric Nelson, as well as Steve Cutlip game balls for their championship performance today at Jeffco Stadium. Okay, winding down to the end of this week's prep rally, just enough space reserved for this week's prep rally play of the week. Eric Nelson's 18-yard touchdown run left side culminated a seven-play 54-yard drive that helped Arvada West beat Bear Creek in the 5A state championship game, 21-14 the final. Eric Nelson with this week's play of the week. Now Dave Logan and Tom Thinnell are building their coaching reputations, and our Marsha Neville listened in as they led Arvada West and Bear Creek in the title game. You're a special group, guys. You're 13 and 0. You're the best team in the state. I don't think they know what's coming. We talked about it when we were 3 and 2 in the same locker room right here after they won. We'll see Mullen again. And we'll see Bear Creek again. All right, follow me, boys. Follow me. Let's go get. It. They were two former Colorado prep stars going head-to-head -head as prep coaches. Three jets stay, Colorado left. Trip Wheat Ridge graduate Dave Logan. Man, gold semi, H for a crack. And Mullen High's Tom Thanell. Thanell and his Bears grabbed the halftime lead. Logan had to get his cats cranked up. But we got to get our adrenaline going and get with it. Coach just basically said, what do you want? Do you want the state championship or do you want to go home losers? And I think that really hit everybody really hard. And we came out and, you know, we just played. We just we didn't, we didn't have to do anything spectacular. We just played good enough to win. They got enough to win in the third. Oh, baby. Leaving Thanell and the Bears scrambling. Oh, man. As a high school player, Thanell won state championships. Logan never did. Number one, five A state. Number one, baby. He says it's for us, but I mean, he's loving it right now. I know he is. I'm gonna go give him a big hug once I find him. What do you got? Way to go, kid. We got two more years now, right? Hell yeah. The hugs continued this morning for Logan and his Wildcats, and it's been a quarter of a century since Arvada West last won a state football title, so this one was special. Arvada West High School, congratulations from News 4 to your state football champions. 5A state champions at Arvada West sending three players off to the next level, including two guys who are staying in state. Quarterback Steve Cutlip headed up to Fort Collins. Running back Eric Nelson will be right next door in Greeley. He'll play for UNC's two-time defending national champions, but he told Marsha that's not the only reason he picked the Bears. I was looking at two really good schools, and I think mainly besides the fact that they won two national championships was the fact that they were here, and I really didn't want to leave, so that was my, my major decision. Colorado's top recruit is staying home. Arvada West quarterback Steve Cutlett makes it official Wednesday when he signs on to play at Colorado State. It seems like every day I'm a little more um, content with my decision. You know, I'm more excited every day. I'm just looking forward to summer to really getting up there, you know, working out with the players and throwing and stuff. And just, you know, I'm just, I, I'm just really excited about everything. Two of Cutlip's Wildcat teammates also sign on to play college football. Running back Eric Nelson will try to help Northern Colorado to its third straight Division II national championship, while gold helmet winner Jason Lucas will play baseball and football at Brown University.